In this video, we will learn how to get WhatsApp notifications when funds are transferred from PayPal to bank account. So it is very clear from the title that we want whenever PayPal transfers the fund to your bank account, you want to get notified on your WhatsApp automatically and instantly about each fund transfer to your bank account. Just like you receive the email notifications on your Gmail, something like automatic transfer from your PayPal account. Well, I'm going to do this with the help of an automation and integration software. So just watch this video till end and you can also set these kind of automatic notifications on your WhatsApp. So this is the website of that automation software Pabli Connect with which we are going to create this automation. We are going to set the automatic WhatsApp notifications. Now click on this blue button and create your account which is absolutely free and you will also get free task to test this automation. I have clicked on signing and clicking on access now because I am already an existing user. Now you will see I will reach to the dashboard of this software Pabli Connect. Uh, you will have to click on this blue button create workflow and from here exactly we're going to start creating our automation give any random name to your workflow to your automation i am giving the name as get notified on whatsapp about paypal fund transfer i can actually make it funds transfer okay click on create and you will find two boxes in front of you trigger and action trigger means when this happens action means do this our automation is going to work on these two principles only. Let me tell you with an example. Whenever a sale happened in a payment gateway application, send an email via Gmail application. According to our use case, whenever PayPal transfers the fund, basically PayPal application, get notified on WhatsApp application. So this is how we need to select the applications in which we need to set the automation. So according to the use case, we should actually select the PayPal as trigger application. But here I'm not going to select the PayPal, but here I'm going to select the email parser. Now why? email parser so basically i am going to integrate my gmail with pabli connect now you must be thinking why i am asking to connect gmail and pabli connect because i am actually receiving the notification on my gmail only that automatic transfer from your paypal account and this is how i am receiving the notifications and I am going to set an automation something like whenever the notification is arriving to my Gmail account about the PayPal funds transfer, I should also receive the notification on WhatsApp as well at the same time. So this is why I am going to connect my Gmail with Pabli Connect with the help of email parser. So you can see email parser by Pabli has provided us a unique email address. We are going to copy this email address and going to paste it into the gmail section where we are actually receiving these kind of notifications so you'll have to go to the settings and click on see all settings then click on forwarding and pop imaf section and basically here we are going to set the forwarder forwarder of what that whenever the emails are get receiving in this particular gmail account the same email should be forwarded here also to this particular email address click on next Click on proceed. A confirmation code has been sent to this particular to verify the permission. So basically it is asking us to verify it. You can see when we will go to Pabli Connect, a response has been received from the same Gmail account. You will directly have to go down to the body text. Okay, here is the body text. Expand it a little bit and you will find the confirmation code here exactly. Copy this code, come back to the Gmail section, provide the confirmation code here, click on verify. Okay, do not forget to enable this particular thing and click on save finally. And this is how you can build the connection in between Gmail and Pabli Connect. Also read here, you are forwarding your email to this particular email address. This notice will end in seven days. So this is how the first step of our integration is actually done. Now to check whether the emails are actually getting captured here in Pabli Connect as an 
an email parser response or not i'm going to click on this button once again click on yes and read the instructions send an email to the email address mentioned above so that we can capture all the details from email content automatically so here i'm going to send a dummy automatic transfer email message here okay and you will see as soon as i will send the notification i will send the email here the same email will be received here in pabli connect as well so let me first delete this existing one okay i have deleted it so assume that paypal has transferred the amount to my bank account and sent the notification for the same you can see automatic paypal automatic transfer from your paypal account and this is the details these are the details now i am expecting to receive the same email here also because pabli connect and my gmail account you can see the response is received let me directly go to my body text and you can see uh, here the content is automatic transfer from your paypal account this is to confirm that we have automatically transferred the funds from your paypal account to your bank account ending here let me again cross verify it and you can see the same text is actually here automatic transfer from your paypal account let me even check the subject line here the subject line is automatic transfer from your paypal account let me cross check the subject line here also okay where is the subject line okay here is the subject line you can see automatic transfer from from your paypal account that means first step of our integration is working absolutely fine now i want to send the notification on whatsapp the same notifications but but before that i will have to specify somewhere that i should receive the whatsapp notifications only about the paypal account transfer basically paypal amount transfer not about other email the email received to my gmail account is about the amount transfer from paypal then only send the notification on whatsapp how i am going to do it well i am going to choose this particular label okay i am going to choose this particular label and value that whenever the subject line consists of this particular content then this automation should proceed then the condition should continue basically then the condition should true otherwise false okay so i don't need to copy this data and paste it here you can see the above data is actually visible here only i just need to search for the subject line okay let me again search for the subject line here it is automatic transfer from your paypal account whenever the subject line is equal to what is equal to this okay let me copy the same subject line and make sure you do not do any typo error otherwise your uh, automation may affect okay whenever the subject line is equal to this particular content in that case you should send the email notification let me see what is wrong here i have clicked on save and send this request okay waiting for the response and you can see the response is received and the condition is true well i have specified single condition only in case you want to specify more conditions let's say if you want to uh add one more condition about whenever the email being sent from the particular email address okay in that case you can actually search from here basically from email address okay and here in from email address you can actually select the filter type and enter the email spe address specific email address from where exactly you are actually receiving the paypal fund transfer notifications okay so this is how you can actually set you can actually add as many conditions as you want well in this video i have set only single condition now whenever this condition is true what exactly we want to do we want to send the notification on whatsapp and for whatsapp i am going to use the whatsapp cloud api service which is the official api of whatsapp which facebook has recently launched okay uh, well we cannot send the whatsapp messages directly with whatsapp application okay that is why i am using whatsapp cloud api in action event because i want to send the messages that is why i am going to select the send template message now what are send template message i'll tell you later click on connect click on add new connection it is asking for following details now from where exactly you will find these details and how you're going to reach to the website of whatsapp cloud api let me tell you you will have to type developers.facebook.com in your browser and press enter and this is how you will reach to the dashboard of basically the website of uh, whatsapp cloud api i am already a user that is why i'm going to click on this my apps and you will see i will reach to the dashboard 
because I am already logged in. Now, once you will create your account in Meta for developers, you will have to first create an app and generate a permanent token. I am repeating this again. You will have to perform two actions create an app and generate a permanent token i have recorded and added a separate video in the description box for the same so that you won't get confused you can watch those two videos completely and once you will set up your account in whatsapp cloud api basically in meta for developers you're actually ready to send the whatsapp notification whatsapp messages now after creating the app you will find your app here in the admin app section this is the app which i have created my connect message app okay i'm going to click on that and uh, here in the left hand side you will find an option of whatsapp click on getting started and finally here you will find those three details token phone number id and whatsapp business account id you can see here is the temporary access token copy it and paste it here as i have just told you that you need to generate a permanent token for now i am going to use the temporary token only and it is going to expire in 23 hours okay again you will have to generate a permanent token i am just creating this automation to show you how the connections can be made that is why i am using the temporary access token and this is how you can actually find the phone number ID what's a business account ID click on save and this is how you can actually connect public connect with whatsapp cloud api account now it is asking for the template name what are template names well whatsapp asks you to first create a message template get it approved via facebook and then only you can actually initiate the conversation with your customer with your clients in fact if you want to receive the notifications you will have to first create a template and get it approved let me show you the templates which i have created in this particular account okay under step to setting you will find this option click here okay click here and you will find all the message templates which i have created okay well you don't actually find it in your account but this is my account and i have created several templates and you can see all of them are approved because i have created the message template from here get it approved first basically i have submitted it for the approval and finally you can see these are the message templates in case you're not sure how you can create template again you can actually check the description box of this video and find the video on how you can create the message templates in whatsapp cloud api now let me show you the template which i have created the name of my template is fund transfer this is the name of my template okay i have selected english language this is the header in header i have selected this particular text automatic transfer from your paypal account and this is the content of my message okay and you can actually preview it from the right hand side and automatically automatic transfer from your paypal account hello demo dummy okay demo dummy okay just a random name well this is actually capital i should have written in a small case okay don't worry you can actually compose it a decent message according to your choice okay this is to confirm that paypal transferred funds from your paypal account to your bank account on this particular date now let me show you one more important thing that you can see this is the message which i have created and i have kept two values in the form of variables how you can create the variables you will find the variable option here when you will create the template but what exactly these variables are so basically whatever the values you want to keep on changing every time there is new entry in the form or there's a new email every time you are receiving into your gmail those values can be kept in the form of variable and later on those values will be replaced automatically every time with the new content okay you can add as many variables as you want in case you want to add the footer and buttons in your template you can actually add it one more important thing when you will create a message template do not forget to provide the samples here what are samples basically the dummy values the sample values which should actually come in place of these variables once you will fulfill all the details and provide the samples you can actually submit it for the approval and it will be approved in few hours or in few minutes or maybe in next 24 hours going back to public connect and you can see all the templates are actually visible here because i'm actually connected i am going to search for the template which i have created for sending the notification on whatsapp about the funds transfer okay you can give any random name to your message template keep the language code as it is 
is select template id as it is recipient mobile number enter the recipient mobile number with the country code without plus sign example this to whom you would like to send the notification well in this particular save I would like to receive the notifications on my WhatsApp number only. That is why I am going to add my number only here along with this particular syntax. Okay, with this particular syntax. Now body field 1 and 2. What are these two? Well, again, these are actually the variables. Okay, and it is asking that what should come in place of these variables. So I want that the name should appear here. Hello or hi or let's say you want to place your name you can actually map it you can actually write it manual manually anything but here i want that the name should be map now what exactly mapping is so basically i'm going to fill the data which i have received from the uh, gmail account to this particular step and i don't need to copy the above data and paste it here simply select on this field and you will find the above data here only i want that the name should appear to which name well the name of the person who is actually receiving the email so the name of the person is actually miss dummy name let me even show you okay this is the display name okay where is the display all right all right all right you can see this is the name this is the email address now going down again and second field is about second variable is about the date okay you can see the date so here exactly i can actually find the date as well because i have actually received the date as well in my email parcel response where is the date okay you can see here is the date i have mapped it now i'm going to click on this button but before that let me show you my whatsapp web in which i'm going to receive these notifications so i have opened my whatsapp web in which i'm going to receive the notifications now clicking on this button save and send test request well i have actually missed out the number let me fill it first now i have clicked on save and send test request button waiting for the response okay and you can see the notification has arrived and the positive response is also received in Pabli Connect. You can actually hear the notifications, okay? And uh, this is the message automatic transfer from your paypal account hi miss dummy name this is to confirm that paypal transferred funds from your paypal account to your bank account on this particular date from pabli team so now onwards whenever you will receive the email about the paypal funds transfer into your gmail account okay you will receive the notification on your whatsapp automatically without doing any manual work okay also i'm going to attach this workflow link in my description box so that in case you want to clone this whole setup into your account for free you can actually do it by simply clicking on this clone link okay once you have created this automation inside Pabli Connect, you can simply close Pabli Connect and Pabli Connect will do its job in backend the automation will work in backend you do not have to do anything manually not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect. And for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.